What's your problem with me? I don't like you for my friend, okay? And why is that? I think you're in the closet. All right, sisters fans, in this week's episode, it looks like we're finally going to have yet a, well, probably one of our first one-on-one, and I mean just the two of them. Um, Calvin and Danny kind of having a standoff or confrontation at the airport. And in my trailer breakdown, which by the way, thank you all for blowing that video up. The last time I checked my trailer breakdown for this week's episode of Sisters hit over 40,000 mother flipping views. I cannot believe it. Um, but regardless, in that video, I talked about how, you know what, maybe Calvin, he's traveling to Florida to visit his father because remember, he had two fathers. One of them passed away. He gave a bulk of his financial savings to his other dad so he can go retire in Florida. So it wouldn't be out of the realm of the ordinary to speculate Calvin's just going on a business, I mean, excuse me, on a personal family trip. And then he encounters uh, Danny at the airport. And that's when things kind of, you know, heat up where it's like, how come you don't like me? What's going on? I don't like you for my friend because I think you're in the closet. So this video, I honestly have no true opinion on it, but people keep asking me, Jeremy, do you think Calvin is straight, bisexual, or in the closet, uh, or gay? I don't really know. I just think that based on what Tyler Perry has been showing us, especially in this season of Sisters, from like, for example, Gary having a sex therapist or let's say um, maybe Calvin liking questionable things that have people going, wait, is he really straight? It's like, what straight man likes this and that? I've posted in the Sisters Facebook group. I've made comments in my videos for people to leave their thoughts on. And, you know, I've asked, I've even, I remember in one of these episodes or reviews, I've said, hey, look, for the ladies out there, or let's say, you know, in general, if you know, for anybody, if you know a male that likes these certain things and they're straight, let me know. Because, you know, obviously I don't, so I'm just, well, I don't know, so I'm asking you all because this is a huge community on YouTube, so there are a lot of perspective. There have been some people who have said, yeah, you know, uh, my husband likes that kind of stuff that Calvin likes, or... I knew a friend who liked that kind of stuff and he was straight. So like they say, different strokes or different uh, folks or is it different blokes, whatever. Either way, you know, it's one of those things where I feel like Tyler is trying to have a lot of shock value here where it's like the ladies find out something about their male, uh, yeah, their male love interest that seems a bit off. It's like, oh, Gary's in bed with another woman. He's cheating. Oh no, it's sex, it's sex therapy. Calvin likes being penetrated by a woman, but not a man. That's gay. But some straight people like that kind of thing. I don't know. I mean, if you ask me, because honestly, I'm not the biggest Calvin fan. I think we should just take him at his word. He straight up told Sabrina about his tendencies ever since season one. I think, what was it? If I'm not mistaken, one of his dads said, you know, you know what, I talk with that, um, you know, Sabrina, she seems like a very nice girl. And then it's like, you know, and then Calvin's like, yeah, you know, I told my dad about the, you know, undies and whatnot. And he's like, yeah, I'm gay. But even I would think that if a straight man wore that, I would be questioning his sexuality. So he like started wearing, you know, more masculine uh, undergarments, if you will, you know, basically clothing underneath his, you know, outer clothes, like shirts and pants and whatnot. So I think for me, Calvin is, as he said, open minded. I'm not going to sit up here and try to judge this man's sexuality because I don't, I swear, I don't know. It's, it's something I haven't really cared about because to me, his character has just become so stale and repetitive that I feel bad for the guy for all the crap Sabrina has put him through testing his sexuality. It's like, Sabrina, either you believe the man or you don't. Just leave it alone. But then we have her telling Maurice that, you know, she's open to this stuff just to kind of experiment or whatnot to see what it's like to see if it's for her and now you're probably going to make sabrina do something and become something that she's not just to be with a man and then it, it's like she loses herself and we know sabrina's never been the most in independent thinking kind of person so i don't know but regardless guys i think i wish they would do better with calvin because hopefully this is one of the last times we had this kind of conversation where somebody questions of sexuality hopefully this gives the definitive answer everybody wants because the last thing we need is for you know danny to go off on him and then you have calvin questioning his own sexuality which to me is a bad
bad message because just because you're into something or, so, you know, just because you're into things that make others suspect something about you, so long as you're comfortable with who you are in your own skin and who you love, does it really matter? I mean, I feel like that could be said for heterosexual um, as well as homosexual people. It's like, it does. Is, is it supposed to matter what somebody thinks of you? Like, I like women. Versus somebody, um, you know, who might another male who likes fe uh, males. It doesn't matter to me what their preference is, because why should I question them? It's like, yeah, hey, it's like uh, you say you are, you know, homosexual, but you seem to be more attracted to females than males. What's going on with that? You see how wrong and messed up that sounded? And look, don't cancel me. This is just an example. I just want to show you how messed up it is. That's what it feels like whenever I see Danny just say, oh, yeah, you know, he's probably playing with the lace this and the lace that and playing with some toys because I could not stand the way Danny went in on Calvin when he showed up to Sabrina's apartment and all the women went on, in on him when he was just trying to have a conversation with Sabrina. So I'm glad when uh, he said F you, Danny. So that was my favorite Calvin moment. It wasn't a viral moment because he, he got humiliated, whether it be punching being knocked out by Jacoby or saying he likes his prostate tickle. That was Calvin standing his ground because he knows who he is and he wasn't taking any more Danny shit. So even though I'm not the biggest Calvin fan, that straight up was my, or hands down was my favorite Calvin moment. So hopefully this scene itself is tastefully done because if not, if done incorrectly, I could probably see a lot of sisters viewers not liking Danny based on how she, you know, confronts Calvin here. So, like I said before, I don't give a damn. Calvin, in my opinion as a viewer, has stated who he is, has stated, you know, what gender he's interested in, but I will leave it up to you. What do you think of Calvin's sexuality? Do you think he's bisexual? Do you think he just, you know, likes both sides, or he is indeed who he says he is? He's straight, but he's open-minded. Hopefully this is the last time I ever have to talk about this subject because hey, eh, it's a moot point by now. But let me know your two cents in the comment section below. And please, 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 let's keep the comment section civil. You know, like I said, I tried to be as um, politically correct in my video when I talked about these things because honestly, not being part of the community, I don't want to come across as one ignorant because I straight up tell you when I don't know something. And number two, it's been heavily requested that, Jeremy, why didn't you talk about this more in your trailer breakdown? Honestly, I've talked about it as much as I could and as much as the trailer allowed, but a lot of people ask me, what do you think? What do you think? And I think we should take Calvin at his word. I mean, if you don't take it um, at his word, then you're just like, uh, you know, Maurice and Danny. I'm not trying to say it in a bad way, but it means like you're on the same wavelength of, you know, Calvin said this, but his actions say otherwise. So, I'm done. Let me, Like I said, maybe the scene Wednesday, I might talk about how the scene played out, but, you know, that's pretty much all I got to say. Like and subscribe, hit the bell icon and select all. Um, follow me on social media, and if you want to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App.